Hi, everybody. This is the latest edition of Yankees Post Game Plus. I'm Bob Lorenz. So on Thursday, the Yankees started an eight-game road trip with the opener of a four-game set in Cleveland. In his return from the alternate site, Domingo Herman delivered a quality start, and the Yanks' offense put up its highest run total in almost two weeks. We'll start top of the third. Yanks down three to one. Glaber Torres up. Runners at first and second, and he knocks a shot out into right center field. Deflects off of Josh Naylor, rolls away. LeMahieu scores easily. Ford motors all the way around from first. And Glaber goes into third on a single and a two-base error. Yankees tied at three. Then top of the seventh. Here's the breakthrough hit. Rube did Odor with the bases loaded and two outs. 0-2-0 offering up the middle. He beat the shift. Aaron Judge and Glaber Torres score. It's a two-run single. And the Yanks have a 5-3 lead. But how about a little insurance from Kyle Higashioka? Top of the eighth, leading off the inning, sends the 2-0 pitch to deep center field, and it sails over the wall for a home run. His third blast of the season travels 420 feet. Yanks go on to win it. 6-3 is the final. Herman picks up his first win of the season. A terrific night for Kyle Higashioka. And Glaber Torres goes three for five. So the Yanks get back on the winning track in Cleveland, game one of the series. Let's get the postgame reaction. I feel like I've seen him games where where I feel like this is coming. Um, you know, the last couple weren't great. Um, and it was, you know, it's just been when he has had games where I feel like he's getting his A swing, it's been foul ball or, you know, that fly ball he hit to right field, maybe his first step was that his first or second at bat where that's a pitch that he usually, you know, sticks in the gap or does some damage with. And I just felt like he was putting that ball in play on a line tonight when he got a pitch to handle. Um, and, and I just thought it took really good at bats all night long. What's been your key to success at the plate so far this season? Um, just, you know, trying to get good pitches to hit. Um, you know, really not trying to expand outside the zone, and chase, chase pitches, um, you know, being a little more selective. I actually walked this year, so that's better. Um, but yeah. You can take the next question from Bruce Beck. Kyle, uh, what about the fact that three of your six hits are are long balls? Are you looking more for it? Is it just coming through in, in the uh, just in the flow of the game or or how would you explain it? Um, I think it's just you know product of kind of my swing being in a good place. Um, you know, I'm kind of of the uh, Ted Williams school of thought, trying to, you know, have a slight uppercut, match the plan of the pitch to, you know, give yourself the most margin for error. Um, you know, you miss on top, it's a line drive. You miss underneath, it's a homer. And if you square it up, it's a gapper. So, um, you know, I think I think it just, it shows, you know, my swing's where, where it needs to be. And, and as long as I keep swinging good pitches, um, you know, hopefully it'll continue. The Yankees will continue their series in Cleveland Friday night. The game is going to air on Pix 11 and stream on Amazon Prime Video, but there will be pregame coverage at 6.30 on Yes and then Yes app and then complete postgame coverage on Yes after. I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for watching Yankees Postgame Plus.